Oh my god, they're gonna love this. Funny story of the day. Good morning vlog. Today I have a pretty busy day ahead of me, so I got right into it and going. I'm still eating breakfast, but I got a couple things going on all throughout the day. And then I have acupuncture tonight around 7, so I'm really excited for that. Right now I'm just kind of looking through my calendar for the week. I haven't worked since last Tuesday, like I mentioned in the last vlog, so basically now I'm just catching up on all the things from my inbox and making sure that I've scheduled things correctly, yada yada yada. Chief of staff things. I will catch up with you later today. We just watched Enola Holmes and it was really good. I really liked it. My boss recommended it today because I was having a bit of a day and she's just like, I think you need this right now. Tommy is singing in the shower. I got back from acupuncture and I had cupping done. I also had a bunch of needles in my back. Holy crap. The upper ones were like very weird because they were like between my like vertebra feel. Like it, it was weird. Anyway, you saw the video a little bit earlier. I didn't want to move a ton either because needles in my body. I can't see her for two more weeks unless there's a cancellation next week just because she's already always super booked up. Tomorrow morning, I actually have a massage therapy appointment. So hopefully I can get some like treatment on the side. I had 11 needles total. So two in my legs, just two total. None in my feet, nothing because I was face down. Like you saw and then I had a bunch in my side and on my back so the side ones felt amazing so they really hurt when it was being like put in but because that spot is always so painful and intense anyway it was just like so nice to have kind of like a different kind of sensation there two weeks is probably best anyway because I can't cup again like a week later it's too soon because it's still gonna be healing um, you'll see what I mean it's quite quite a lot that big big body right there there it is right in the center of my back that's where I actually had a bunch of needles in as well so before she cupped I put um, she had like three needles in that upper part which weirdly I didn't feel those needles at all the ones that were painful were the side my leg ones always hurt <laughs> crazy time but like healing is painful uh, but it's healing so hopefully we're on the right track and I'm excited to just feel better because you know nobody likes being in pain good morning vlog a bus is now making a lot of noise. I got up at 7, it is almost 7.30. I have an appointment at a massage therapy place just over the Grand Grove Bridge, so I'm headed there now. And I'm excited because this person apparently does things very differently than my last person. So I'm excited for that. I turned all my lights on, obviously, so I could see the beautifulness before I left because I love these lights. It's a great vibe. I'm back, the treatment went well. I'm gonna go back in a week and a half or so. It was raining and then it wasn't and then I got really sunny and then I don't really know what the world is doing right now. But she was actually more insightful than most because she's just like, yeah, your organs have shifted quite a bit, like upward and there's so much tension. So we'll see how it goes. I have an open mind. morning vlog today is wednesday i have a couple meetings this morning lots of things going on just looking all kind of dressed up turtleneck all that and it's pouring rain outside so we'll be in for most of today and i'm really excited to just chill this is freaking me out a little bit that's a lot this is today's setup still very rainy outside but we are going strong I didn't bring the GoPro and Tommy and I actually just got back from biking and I'm getting food but they put this up again. Third year in a row we're seeing that. Good morning vlog. It has been a busy work morning. It has been just meetings, meetings, meetings all morning in a good way. Good things have been accomplished. I also wanted to share, you know what, I, I know I'm gonna, what I'm going to post but then I'm going to post it again later um, in its full, you'll understand. I ordered some Christmas cards off of Shutterfly and I wanted to make a really cute special thing for Tommy and I for our year in Vancouver. Our family has done Christmas cards for as long as I can remember. We've always had a family picture each year and this year obviously we didn't. <laughs> it sucks but it's also like okay now it's my turn to make this card. I'm really bad at opening things that are packaged like this so I don't really think it's meant to be opened. So I have no idea what these are gonna look like, but I'm excited to see them. Here they are. Okay. Yes, I'm it's so hard for me not to show it and share it because I really just want to like be like, look at how pretty this thing I made is. Oh my god, they're so cute. <laughs> Weird skies outside with the rain. 
and the sun's trying to set because it's you know 350. I love the vibe in here with the lights on all the time. It's been a busy work day. It's not quite over yet, but I'm taking a really late lunch, like a 3.15 lunch. <laughs> busy day, but good, fulfilling day. Lots of good work. And I also wanted to either run to Michael's or back to Dollarama at some point in the next couple of days to buy more of the Christmassy kind of things because I will be doing like another phase of decorating soon. So I'm looking forward to that. The gearing day again. This is so random, but they must have been storing this somewhere like kind of cold because like it's, I've never had Nutella do that. It's like stuck together completely. Good morning vlog and happy Friday. Today is the last day of the work week. So exciting. I think I've worn a sweater and or collared shirt every day this week, which I'm really proud of because it definitely feels like it's helped me because I look better. I realized I didn't say, I think it was Tuesday. I went biking with Tommy and I forgot to mention that I fell kind of because my tires got stuck in this like weird metal like thing and it was raining a ton. So I fell, but I didn't. So I caught myself, but I hyperextended both of my ankles. And when I landed, I kind of just, anyway. So I sprained kind of the top of one part of my foot and the top of the other. So it's very sore on both sides, but I've been icing it every day and it's been fine. But when I wake up, it's just like very, very, so yeah, I uh, <laughs> figured I'd share that funny story before I get on with my work day. They've enforced new restrictions for the province actually yesterday up until December 8th. So we actually can't see our friends in person uh, in their place. Like there's no more household gatherings at all. So the only time we're going to possibly even see them is when we go to Canyon Lights or the Festival of Lights at Van Dusen National Park. I'm ex I mean, Van Dusen Botanical Gardens. So it's going to be... Difficult, yes, not seeing more people, but our case numbers have skyrocketed so much in BC the last like two weeks, even since Canadian Thanksgiving a month ago, that we're just in a bit of a bind and they've had to just kind of lay down some restrictions. And fortunately, we haven't actually seen our friends in like actually at this point since that Thanksgiving time, so it's been well over like five weeks at this point. So I know we're pretty safe in keeping our distance from people, but we're still exposing ourselves at grocery stores and like. We've stopped climbing even, but we're doing our best and it's uh, it's still challenging, but yeah, not taking any unnecessary risks, unnecessary travel. We're here for the holidays. Just putting our head down and really getting through this. <laughs> Bam. Funny story of the day. One of my coworkers got locked out of our building today, so I had to go and rescue her. I I'm so excited that these are now back on sale because these taste like, this is Christmas to me. I know Lent is available like all year round and stuff, but like this especially, I just feel so, this is like December and Christmas for me. So I love this. I used to get so many of these when I was just younger. It just reminds me of like childhood and home and just, I love dark chocolate. So mm, I'm so excited for these. Considering going to Michael's tonight to go get second phase Christmas decorations because I, I've already seen the dollar store selection. I kind of looked at HomeSense, but I might go back to check out HomeSense as well at another time. The dollar store is just the best bang for your buck, honestly, when it comes to just the variety and also just like the price, because really things don't need to be that expensive, right? So I don't need anything that fancy either. I was able to get a tree. I'm gonna need more garland from there. But yeah, I figured I'd go check out Michael's because for gifts and different things that I'm doing with the Christmas cards, I kind of just like, sneak peek yesterday um, just candy and different gifts that we're sending around to different uh, family members and friends I want to have like twine or different things I can wrap things in honestly this is my creative outlet this year because you got to do what you got to do to keep yourself happy entertained feeling creative and that's a big thing that really helps me out so I've decided I'm going to go to all the stores that I've kind of rattled off over the weekend because it's so dark that I don't really feel like going outside anymore. It's just hard when it's like kind of rainy and gross and it's really pitch black outside to want to go outside after work. And I'm already tired. I've had a super productive day though. It's been just like a good work week in general, minus some of Monday. So I've had just really good productive time today, catching up on a lot of the things I was hoping to get to. So I feel really good closing the week out. Everything is good. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna end the video here and then start a new one when I go shopping and get new stuff for the apartment and other holiday related things. <laughs>